What's going on? It's your boy Ozzy Ozzy. This is not a pill off show. I'm feeling tired. I've been commenting on No, let's be real. I came from work, which is a paying job with a pension and a medical plan. That's what you got to do because this entertainment business, they don't have that. You got to have like millions. But anyway, I'm feeling tired. That's the main point I want to bring, of course. But I definitely got a um, comment on Fair Munch doing this thing. Definitely sound to, signed to um, SRC Records. David Rifkins. No, Steve. Steve Rifkins. Label. I hope I said it right. Steve Rifkins. Label. And uh, Fair Munch was doing this thing. Definitely, you know, really out there just working hard and promoting himself. He's a talented person, definitely. I gotta go out and buy his album. I'm gonna buy it tomorrow. I'll come back and I'll probably I'll show you how to receipt, but I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna check it out. I gotta buy a couple of songs. A couple a couple of albums. Definitely. But in all in all, business is hard, man. It's hard. The South is just taking over. <laughs> Because you know why? They always put out that feel-good music. That happy, having fun music. That's just good. That's, the, that's, that's where it's at right now. Anyway. Um, I want y'all to go to my page. My YouTube page. Y'all got to see something. Let's see a guy in a red scarf. His name is Bloodsport. One of the realest cats out here. And I posed a question to him. I, the question I asked him was like, I want to see him do, well, I told him I would like him to do 10 songs without cursing and talking about violence and can he do it. He accepted the challenge, he said, yeah. So I want you all to check that out because uh, <clears throat> in New York City, we got to, in New York or the East Coast, we got to really just have fun and, and, and be ourselves, you know what I mean? But I'm definitely going to check out Fat March album. Let me go see what was good. But I heard his album is good. I heard his album is real good. Real, real good. So I'm definitely going to check it out. Definitely. So just go out there and support the brother, man. You know? I'm a person that's, I support everybody. You know what I'm saying? If you're doing something right, if you're doing something original, I support you. You know what I mean? That's how I am. But yo, just go out there and support him. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to cop his album and see what's good. The CD. I'm going to see what's good. That's it. I'm not gonna buy bootleg. Don't buy bootleg. I'm gonna buy the album. If it's good, it's good. I'm gonna come back over here and see if it's hot. If it's whack, it's whack. But I heard this album was good. Anyways, your boy Ozzy Oz hit, hit me up myspace.com slash O Z Z I E hype. Go oh, check out my partner in crime, Ricky Indian at R C K Y Indian. Y'all can contact me at 718-954-2629. Holler at me. I get calls from all over the world, whether negative or positive. And like I always say, never, never, never give up. Live life to the fullest. Enjoy your life and smile because it's good for the soul. I heard, and I'm not sure if it's true, but somebody on the inside told me that Fire March wasn't going to do anything with his partner um, to form back organized confusion. I heard his um, old partner wanted to do an album together and, and, and come back and do the organized confusion. I think it's a good idea. But I not sure if he said he didn't want to do it. I'm not sure. That's the rumor. So right now it's a rumor, but I got to dig a little deep because I think that Organized Confusion should come back out and do something, definitely. In fact, let me go on YouTube and look up their stuff, you know what I mean? Anyway, I'm out.